Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer your iOS or iPhone photos to your Windows PC with iCloud. Check it out. All right, everyone, as usual, there's going to be a few uh, different uh, prerequisites that you're going to want to do before actually doing this process on the computer. First off, you're going to want to download iCloud for Windows onto the computer, go through the installation process and get it installed and get the settings uh, taken care of. So once you've got that installed, you're going to be prompted with this window right here. This window is the iCloud settings. And of course, you're going to want to enable the iCloud on your iPhone or iOS device. That, that way it knows that it can upload those files or those photos over to the iCloud servers and then you can download them with this Windows app. So again, in today's demonstration, we are going and using the iCloud app versus the USB, which is what we did in the last video. If you're looking for the USB, you can click that card up in the top right hand corner of your screen of this video and it will take you over to the USB option for transferring photos. So again, today we're using iCloud, go through, get it set up, sign into your um, iCloud account and get it enabled on your iOS device. And then we can uh, go ahead and proceed with this. So as usual, I've got the live screen over there on the left, as you can see, it is a live cast. What we're actually gonna do today is I've got it enabled on this iOS device. You can see that it's a live cast because the screen over there moves with the swiping of the phone. So um, we're gonna take a picture. We're gonna take a live picture. It's gonna upload to the iCloud servers and then I'm gonna show you how to download it onto your Windows PC. So I'm on Windows 10. However, this app for iCloud will work with, I believe Windows 7 all the way up to, through Windows 10. So. Uh, if you come down here in the system tray, there's going to be a little iCloud option right here. We'll go over that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and take a quick photo. And we'll just get something of this sick drawing pad right here. So we'll take the picture. And the cool thing about the iCloud is it also will upload the live version of that uh, file or that uh, image. So you can go through and you can kind of customize it as well. So what we're going to do is that's going, so we're going to go into photos. You can see right now on the left hand side, that the photo is uploading. You can see the photo has been taken, it's uploading one item, you can click to pause, updating, and now we get a message saying that it's upload complete. So what I'm gonna do now, now that we have taken the picture, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the phone screen on, the, on your main screen, and we're gonna focus on this window right here. There's a few different options that you can use right here. iCloud Drive, you get five gigs of free iCloud storage, which is pretty cool. Uh, photos, this is of course is the settings that you're gonna want to do where you want those photos to download. Uh, if you wanna be able to upload the photos that are on your computer to your iCloud so you can kind of sync all of your devices. Um, and then of course with bookmarks with Internet Explorer, you can go in and you can actually change uh, different browsers as well. In this case, we're not gonna worry about the top or the bottom, we're gonna mainly focus on the middle one, which is photos. If you go into options, you have a few different options here. You've got iCloud Photo Library, download new photos and videos to my PC. This is where you'll change your directory on where you want those photos or files downloaded onto your computer. Keep highly efficient original if available. Basically keep the original, that's what you want. I prefer keeping that checked just so you make sure you have an original copy somewhere. Um, and then this box is unchecked, but this is where you would want to check if you wanted to upload pictures from your computer to your iCloud so you can access them via your phone. Again, you have five gigs of free storage. If you wanna buy more storage, you can click on the storage and buy more. That's totally up to you. And then iCloud photo sharing. You can actually share your directory or your photos to anybody else and you can allow anybody else to add to that as well. So if you kinda of have a group of friends and you wanna kinda of collaborate all of your photos, that option is just for you. We're gonna focus again on the top three, iCloud library, download and keep the highly efficient. Those should come pre-checked. Go ahead and click done if you haven't already. And now the easy part, what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna come on down to the system tray, right click, and you're gonna click on download photos. It's gonna come up with the option. If you have multiple years or multiple files, you can drill down and check which ones that you want to download. Check the box, click on download. It'll do its thing. You can at this point close this window open up the system tray, or not the system tray, but your file explorer window, you'll notice you have an iCloud photos uh, shortcut or directory in here. Double left click in it, go into the downloads, and you can see that the files are listed right here. Again, it lists it by year, but then it also includes the files along with the live file. So you can kind of go in if you have, so I don't know if you guys know what live file is, 
but when you take a picture, it records X amount of time before and after, and it allows you to kind of align that shot to get that perfect moment. So that's a really cool thing that Apple started and a lot of other companies are starting as well, but that also includes in the download as well. So that's just a quick way on how to go through and download the images from your iCloud to your Windows computer. If you wanted to upload them, again, go to the system tray, right click, and you can click upload files, and then it will have you navigate to the file that you want to upload, click on it, click open, and it will upload it to the iCloud database as well. Thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you on the next one.